Hello. I'm back again with another one of these videos I'm in here. Uh, the last two were kind of weird. <laughs> I just, uh, sucks in my laptop got brick that I wanted to use. The nice one that I worked on so hard. It had an Intel uh, i7 dual core. Dual core, one of the dual core Sandy Bridge i7s. And, uh, I was just really good. I used to be really good at just optimizing old laptops. So it's just a thing I, get, I, I do. I like to do. But I've, I've tried everything on this on this crap top here. The crap top that I'm using here, Lenovo R60. I just can't get it to even work normally. So I don't know. Well, I just want to get something to eat. You see, maybe once a day. <laughs> Got some groceries too, but I usually don't eat those. Just some have some things lying around because uh, we don't have food lying around usually. I don't know why. He just doesn't eat. He's not an eater right? at all. Like, I can understand not eating much, but he doesn't eat at all. So. Oh. Got this sodium watch, piece of crap. <laughs> It'll do for now. It's just temporary. It was a, that was the intention anyway. So it's the twelfth. I think it's Thursday or Friday. I don't know. I think it's Thursday. May twelfth, Thursday. And usually I could do a lot of things. As far as editing goes, and just uh, other things too, uh, all all sorts of stuff. But I just can't go on this laptop because it's so slow. But don't worry. Well, I just got a what does it have? Uh, one of the lower tier Centrinos. Now the highest tier Centrino is actually pretty good. It's up there with i7 and i5 and i3, the i series. Like the Centrinos, they put in the um, the best Chromebooks and um, the uh, desktop version of the Chrome computer. Pretty good. By Asus and what was another company. Can't remember. That was an Asus one. They use a Centrino one that has like the Skylake type iGPU going. On. So that's not bad, and it's actually a good performer. So if you're interested, I mean, I, I'm just saying. There is a Centrino that's actually pretty good, but this one doesn't have it. So, doesn't even. What, what, what does it have? A, a GMA 954 or 950 graphics media accelerator? <laughs> can't do anything with it. I, I can't even play Neverwinter Nights Diamond on this thing. The uh, the the animation on the menu that or swirling red mist doesn't even render. <laughs> That's crazy. Can't even play Neverwinter Nights Diamond on this thing. But I can play like old emulated stuff. So I could play Super Nintendo. Um, what else on my emulated things? Super Nintendo. Um, what else? That? What, what something else? Maybe Saturn. I know Saturn's not a big deal, but I like to emulate some Saturn games sometimes. Pretty cool. Saturn didn't have a very large library to begin with, but I mean, it doesn't have a very large library of games. But that's pretty cool. And you don't have to have a really good laptop, obviously, to play them. So, anyway. I got a smartphone now, and I got emulated stuff on there. I filled up my SD card with like um, emulated stuff, but I, you have to play it with a this fake touchscreen controller, and I, I I can't play the games like that. I tried, yeah, I can't do it. I, I'd have to. I thought I looked around for controllers you can use to plug the phone onto those Android controllers. Well, not Android controllers, even just just, just the, the phone controllers, and uh, I would have to get something like that. 
to the games on the phone. And I remember somebody told me to get a controller for my phone. I thought they meant like a, a controller and have the phone up. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know that's what they meant. You could actually uh, mount the controller on the phone and use it like a handheld. I didn't know that. Didn't know that at all. Anyway, uh, that's just gaming. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't gamed in a while because I've been on this crap top and no. My uh, my nice monitor that I built that I bought and I've been using for so long, it get it it uh it broke. I was cleaning my room. I had to I had to get this really large. I had a over here this. I had this old RCA television from like 1960. Thing was half the size of my room or my living space here. I did something wrong. I, I must have. My elbow must have smacked the monitor, and it's just broken. Oh, I think it was like. How much money was that thing? I don't know. A lot. It's just stuff like this happens to me. It's been happening for a while now. I, I, the laptop has just got bricked because all I did was just squish it a little bit. I didn't think it would break the screen. I just squished it, you know, and tried to kill some bugs. That was my fault. It was stupid to do that. I didn't think anything of it at the time, though. And my dog, her tail whacked my TV that I ordered, my 40-inch HD TV that was actually, I mean, I didn't have a real TV before then, either. And her tail whacked that, and she, she has a big, powerful tail, and it just just crushed the LED screen so I mean, I'm having terrible luck with LED screens I guess just like <sighs> but uh yeah see the HDTV that I had the Oh, uh, whacked it, broke it. Laptop screen, I squished it. The LED port screen broke. Uh, back there, the monitor that I paid so much money for, I just whacked it with my elbow and the LED screen broke. I just hate LED screens now. Makes me want to go back to CRT fucking monitors. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. The smartphone I bought is a uh, Corning Gorilla Glass. I always get smartphones that have that. Because you can drop them and everything. And it won't even do anything. It won't scratch or uh, chip break. And maybe that one won't handle it as much as my older phone, but it'll, it'll be able to handle it. Drops in. Smartphone got slow though. When I first bought it, it was lightning fast. You know, I'm using up most of the space. And, uh, it's only got eight gigs of memory. It's got a micro SD card. Though. That's what I use. 32 gig. I'm sure it can use like 128 gig. I just don't have one of those. I've got 32, 32 gigs lying around. The current situation, I wouldn't be able to PC game very much now since my monitor is broken. I already ordered all kinds of stuff I had to ha I had to get. Uh, I needed so badly. I got the bed, the zebra bed. That's what I talked about last time. The zebra bed, and uh, ordered some other things. I ordered a amplifier for my phone or. It's made for calls, but I'm going to use it with my music. Get it with an adapter, a 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Uh, what else did I get? I got an AV cable. I got a TV, 13 inch TV. It's not impressive, <laughs> but it works. Works for Roku too. Got inputs like a TV, 
just to really small. Got it back here behind the, the laptop. I ordered some things and I, I kind of I don't know, went too far with it. I just have a budget I stick with. I can I can spend more. I just don't I don't go to my budget. I just don't do that. And what's that about? I can't remember. I bought some small stuff on New Ed. I mean, this laptop is terrible. It was a backup. It's the worst backup I've ever had. I don't want to make content specifically on my smartphone. So. I don't know how to edit anything on that. I make it cool. Here. can't make this cool either because the uh, windows the uh, the uh, software uses it has some type of codec for all of them. this is this uses 32-bit windows this is 32-bit hardware on this laptop the old laptop I had was 64-bit but it's gone so my closet is broken LED's gone There is a little uh, computer repair shop in that I went to before to fix one of my computers, and um, he can fix the LED when it costs. It would be cheaper just to buy a new laptop. Um, I got a Windows Surface Pro. I got it in a box, a little slip box. And it's got a keyboard. And I don't use the keyboard though, I didn't. It's broken now. The, the screen, you know, the tablet works fine. It's just the screen, the touch screen is completely not working. It got wet, it got rained on. I was outside. And now the touch screen is, you might as well just say it ain't working. There's just dead spots. You can't use them. It's just. Um, worst tablet ever. Surface. Windows Surface. <laughs> it's just back in the day, I didn't struggle with technology like this, so it wasn't so uh, fun plan. You know? It wasn't so. No, what's the word? So delicate. I live a very, <laughs> I live hard style <laughs> in this place. So I gotta have something that lasts, you know. It can take a little abuse at least. The LEDs aren't it. Maybe this TV will handle it because I mean, it's pretty good screen, pretty durable looking. But turns out this expensive crap is just crap. <laughs> Doesn't I mean you just Flick it and it breaks, you know. That's one of the reasons I don't buy the iPhone. That's the, so everything's becoming like the iPhone, I guess. Or the MacBook or whatever. It's crazy. So I'll be coming in with this crap. Way past his warranty. <laughs> I don't spend all day in this room, but this is my place of zen. <sighs> when it's clean and uncluttered, I go through the motions, get it all cleaned up and everything. My dog will bring her outside and chain her, chain her up to the shed and let her chill out there and I'll take her around outside. 
bring her back in and bring her back out at night. And it's just there's a lot of there's some things I do every day, but I'll change it up. Uh, it's the exact same things every day. But I'm interested in doing business type blogs, blogs. Instead of just you know talking about my crap, <laughs> but I just so I I, I really. The stuff's just breaking. I don't know what 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 to do. This I don't know. And I'm down to like Plan B type stuff. <laughs> like this laptop. Now my other monitors. I have my AOC monitors, 1080p. Which are kind of nice, but not really. I spent too much money on that monitor. Turned out to be a dud. <laughs> Pisses me off. I make mistakes, you know. It just I really beat myself up when I make mistakes. I usually don't make mistakes that much. I'm very careful, individual. But uh, when I do make mistakes, it's just. It's me hard, you know. It's so hard to get things here. Get things moved here. Ordered, moved. Get shipped in my house. So. <sighs> anyway. Been busy lately, traveling. <sighs> Go to Noonan, Peachtree City, Noonan, Peachtree City, Georgia. The uh, Western Georgia type places, and nice places too. It's like the big city, except we don't have the big city. It's very nice. A lot of nice places between here and Atlanta. I don't like Atlanta itself, but. But between here and there, there's a lot of nice places. And, uh, I've done a lot of business between there. Um, <sighs> kind of going back and forth between jobs, high and IT jobs, uh, computer science jobs. <sighs> and uh, kind of running around like a hellish chicken right now. I'm just doing um, getting gathering stuff up that I have to gather up and about you know, paperwork and stuff and uh, mostly in digital form now you know uh, paperwork's become paper is becoming digital now I don't know if most businesses are like that but that's how it is in IT I mean, they still use paper don't get me wrong but uh, a lot of uh, formalities to go through and all that stuff. Um, I haven't worked a lot on software in a long time. I've worked on other aspects of other things. Uh, like I said, the services type deal. Dealing with different third parties and companies and stuff. And <coughs> Let's see. Uh, I worked for Google. Microsoft and Intel and so Valve and uh, pretty much the same position in each one but they call different things. It's so kind of going up and down in those companies. But I had the ability to go through all those companies. I don't know. Because uh, It's not because of school anymore, it's because uh, pretty much permanent positions at each company. Because uh, they, Valve only had one visual user experience designer, that was me. Um, 
Well, you see him, low chief marketing officer of Yahoo and uh, Microsoft. I couldn't be a CEO there because uh, I didn't need the. I couldn't travel as much as CEO did. Right? And I certainly wasn't, you know, presentable worthy. Where they have to, you know, CEOs have to be CEO have to be a. Uh, They're like the face of the company, so they have to be, you know, can't be like me, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Google don't care as much about their CEOs being, seeming as company face-worthy. I don't know what the word would be. So you can't, can't go around cussing or acting, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, controversial. It can't be controversial when you're a CEO. Uh, Valve was the best job I had, but I don't want to game anymore. The whole reason I did that that job was because I was inspired to do it because I like gaming so much, and I was so into the technical aspect of gaming. As I've said, weirdly, that's the thing that got me into Valve. But, uh, I worked on the mobile client, and the client itself, the client, the, uh, program that what Steam actually is and a lot of other things and the dev kits and um, not so much customer support and, uh, oh, I just can't travel as much as I used to it's not full up to it right now that's why I'm working Kind of close to home now. Working for Yahoo. Yahoo. They got a place closer. And I've worked for another place, like NVIDIA, and they have a place in Alabama. I just have to work places that are close that actually uh, meet my criteria that I'm qualified to work for, which is uh, um, embedded software within hardware. And, uh, Porting software is and you know, releases and um, uh, creating new software for you know, enterprise type companies and um, you know, so most of the software and the things, not just software, but you know, scripts and you know, not you know, program, I, well, I guess, more like, uh, soft, soft embedding within hardware, you know, the, uh, device, device code and stuff. I'm not a hardware person, I don't, I don't know how to build hardware very much. Yeah, I just went from job to job. It's, it's basically like a, and it's like a, in my case, my own personal program between the companies. But it was hard. It was like busy work for real. I just work for Yahoo because it's close by. <clears throat> Managing big systems, uh, information systems, cloud systems. I did that for Intel. They don't have a very big cloud, but it's, it's a pretty interesting job. I manage their, uh, their cloud, their, uh, information systems 
all this stuff was close by, I mean, within maybe 30 miles and 50 miles. <laughs> Just, uh, but Yahoo's, uh, they got a place here, a Yahoo building, so I'll do that. Kind of a Council of Doom type scenario up here. They got the internet and the phone, and it's, a, it's like a telecom place. And I get dropped off there by my grandfather, and I can't drive right now. So I get that motorcycle license. And motorcycle, maybe, maybe a scooter. I don't know. That's walking distance, really. Long walk, though, <laughs> but still. Uh, chief marketing officer? Yeah. But I could change jobs. It's, there's some difficulty with it, but. Been doing it since 2013. Going between all those companies and jobs and just testing the waters basically. <laughs> I don't know if all people do that, but I live in the south in Alabama, East Alabama, West Georgia. There's not a lot of IT here. Uh, I mean they, they rely on it to uh, you know get things done, but they don't understand any of it. It's not a very big data friendly place. And I know the ins and outs of Microsoft Windows and Android and Chrome, Chrome operating system and everything like that, but I'm just trying to weigh out the business side and the personal side, just get it all you know, into an amalgamation of things, just kind of, you know, IntelliGrade everything. <laughs> Watch that South Park episode of IntelliLink. Are you IntelliGraded? IntelliGrade everything, you know. So, again, the same thing with different companies. Just the highest would be a CEO, but I wasn't one of those CEOs that just goes around promoting the company everywhere and traveling the world and the entire world. No, no. Not a super uber traveler. Just uh, you know, kind of a CEO that was kind of stationary really. Just ran things from the, from a regional level. So not even, I mean, oh, just a, I don't know. It's, it's basically like that with Yahoo up there. But I'm an IT guy, but. Not a hardware type fellow, <laughs> but. I know some hardware, just not enough to get me the. I just gave her some one time soup. I hope that's good for the dog. I don't know what to talk about between all these companies. <coughs> Formulate something. I don't know. The Intel position was interesting. <laughs> Not very fast, but it was interesting. The data was clean. To go out clean data. It was just nice to deal with. Uh, a lot of gobbledygook in that. <coughs> I'm just not very gaming capable at the moment either. 
I'll let this be half as long. Bye.